Greetings and welcome back to our channel. In today's episode we're exploring the intriguing world of human beliefs and the fascinating psychological and physiological facts about men and women. Have you ever wondered what drives our behaviors or how effective communication can transform our relationships? Join us as we uncover the secrets of human psychology and behavior, diving deep into the complexities of male and female dynamics. Whether it's about love, connection, or everyday interactions, we're here to enlighten and inspire. Hit that like button, subscribe, and let's embark on this captivating journey together. Sustained eye contact can create feelings of intimacy and connection but can also be perceived as aggressive or uncomfortable depending on the context. Oxytocin and vasopressin, often dubbed love hormones, play a crucial role in bonding and attachment in romantic relationships. Women tend to excel in multitasking due to a larger corpus callosum, which enhances communication between the brain's hemispheres. Our expectations and beliefs can lead to behaviors that cause those beliefs to come true, reinforcing our initial perceptions. Regular physical activity and fitness can enhance sexual performance and satisfaction by improving stamina, blood flow, and overall confidence. Female sexuality is often more context-dependent than male sexuality. Factors such as stress, relationship quality, an emotional connection can significantly impact female sexual desire and satisfaction. Understanding and addressing these factors are crucial for women's sexual well-being. When women feel empowered, valued, and emotionally connected, their sexual experiences can be incredibly fulfilling. The more frequently we see someone, the more likely we are to develop a romantic interest in them, known as the proximity effect. Making numerous decisions in a short time can lead to decision fatigue, reducing our ability to make sound choices. Women often score higher on measures of empathy and are more likely to respond empathetically to others' emotions. Engaging in sexual activity can boost creativity and problem-solving abilities, possibly due to the brain's release of dopamine and endorphins. This cycle includes excitement, plateau, orgasm, and resolution, with variations in intensity and duration among individuals. In group settings, people tend to exert less effort than they would when working alone due to a diffusion of responsibility. Women generally exhibit higher erotic plasticity, meaning their sexual preferences and behaviors can be more fluid and adaptable. Everyone has unconscious biases that influence their perceptions and interactions, even when they consciously believe in fairness. Couples in love often experience synchronized heart rates and other physiological responses when they are together. Acts of kindness and altruism can boost our own happiness and well-being, often described as the helper's high. These neurons allow us to empathize and understand others' actions and emotions by simulating their experiences in our own minds. Women typically have stronger emotional memories than men, possibly due to differences in how their brains process emotional experiences. During sex, the brain releases a mix of chemicals like dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin, which contribute to pleasure and bonding. We tend to favor information that confirms our existing beliefs and disregard evidence that contradicts them. Nonverbal communication, including gestures, posture, and facial expressions, is crucial in conveying emotions and intentions. Women may have a higher pain threshold but experience chronic pain more often than men, influenced by hormonal differences. Consumption of pornography can shape sexual attitudes, expectations, and behaviors, sometimes leading to unrealistic views of sex. People have romantic ideals about love, which can shape their expectations and satisfaction in relationships. 
couples who can effectively manage and resolve conflicts tend to have stronger, more resilient relationships over time. Lack of sleep impairs cognitive function, emotional regulation, and decision-making, underscoring the importance of good sleep hygiene. Women are more likely to tend and befriend under stress, seeking social support, while men often adopt a fight-or-flight response. We are more likely to be attracted to people who share similar interests, values, and backgrounds. People experience various emotions after sex, from relaxation and bonding to sadness or anxiety, influenced by personal and relational factors. These are a normal part of human sexuality and reflect individual desires, experiences, and personality. Subtle cues or stimuli in our environment can influence our thoughts and behaviors, known as the priming effect. Women are typically more cautious and risk-averse, often considering long-term consequences more thoroughly than men. The likelihood of someone intervening in an emergency decreases as the number of bystanders increases due to diffusion of responsibility. The frequency of sexual activity does not necessarily correlate with relationship satisfaction, emotional connection and quality are key. When actions and beliefs conflict, we experience cognitive dissonance, leading to changes in beliefs or justifications for actions. Use of social media can affect self-esteem, mood, and social relationships, often leading to comparisons and unrealistic expectations. Women use more facial expressions and body language in conversations, enhancing their ability to read nonverbal cues. Pheromones and subconscious cues significantly influence sexual attraction and partner selection. Habits shape much of our daily behavior, and changing them requires effort, persistence, and often changes in our environment. This phenomenon is driven by a potent mix of physical attraction and the brain's release of dopamine and norepinephrine. Both men's and women's sexual desire and behavior can be significantly influenced by hormonal fluctuations and cycles. Women are often better at noticing and remembering details in their environment, which may have evolutionary advantages. Women typically perceive more colors and can distinguish subtle differences in shades better than men. We are more likely to develop feelings for someone if we believe they are interested in us, known as reciprocal liking. Strong romantic attachments can enhance health by lowering stress, improving immune function, and increasing longevity. We form first impressions within seconds of meeting someone, often based on their appearance and body language, which can be hard to change. Women's behavior and mood can be significantly influenced by hormonal fluctuations throughout their menstrual cycle. Light caressing touches on areas rich in nerve endings like the neck, ears, and inner thighs can heighten arousal and anticipation. Emotions can be contagious, meaning we can catch the feelings of others, impacting our mood and behavior. Our decisions and judgments are often disproportionately influenced by the first piece of information we receive. Regular sexual activity can improve sleep quality due to the release of oxytocin and the decrease in cortisol levels. This cognitive bias leads us to assume that people with positive overall impressions possess positive traits in other areas too. If you found this video informative, please take a moment to share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you have made it this far, comment below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics like this, make sure you watch the recommended videos that you see on the screen right now. Until next time, stay safe and awesome. Thanks for watching.